The NBA regular season is about to end and it's time to talk about why I think Jason Kidd might be the worst coach in the NBA currently. Given the amount of players that he has that are very, very good, what he should have been doing in the regular season, and the amount of opportunities, in my opinion, he's had to finish these games with a W, with a win, losing by four points or five points because of key possessions and key players he sits down at key times and key moments. It's very disturbing to me, in my opinion, when it comes to the actual ability he has as a player. We've seen him at great moments when it comes to Dallas and the New Jersey Nets when it comes to getting to the finals. But as a coach, in my opinion, the way he's sitting down, JaVel McGee at key moments when he needs rebounds and he has Powell in the field, in the game, actually in the court. And Powell is only getting about four rebounds in the game. Five rebounds. When you see Javel, he could get you many more rebounds. He's bigger. He's stronger. He could actually block better. Yet you have him sitting down for key possessions where you didn't have him sitting down right the first games, if you remember, that Kyrie played for the team when Luka wasn't actually playing yet and wasn't back from the injury. He had Javel McGee playing more. And this dynamic they had with Kyrie as the main guy and Javel right there, they were actually winning the games. But he stopped doing that. He started playing Powell more. The way he had small ball overall. Just kept losing two offensive rebounds from the other team. They couldn't get enough rebounds. And you have Kyrie and Luka trying to get double digit rebounds. When they should be focused more on scoring. It's not because Luka's not a great rebounder. It's not because Kyrie's not a great rebounder as a guard. They got multiple times over 10 rebounds. I saw in these games. But the point is. They shouldn't be the ones doing that when it comes to this overall offense and defense because when you have them focusing on that, then it's tougher for scoring and it's actually going to take the team down when it comes to how tired they are for the other things they have to do on the offensive side. So a lot of these teams were actually outscoring them. They're not able to play the defense how they have to because they have to actually try to get the rebounds when the other team misses. And then you have them losing about four or five points. And this is not Kyrie's fault. I see a lot of people saying, oh, this is Kyrie's fault. This is Luka's fault. No, this is clearly Jason Kidd's fault. Jason Kidd, unfortunately, I think you're a great player, Hall of Famer for sure. One of the greatest point guards. I've seen you actually live when I was in my teens. And when I was, I've been watching basketball since way back. I've seen you with the Jersey Nets, with Vince Carter. I've seen you with the Dallas Mavericks, of course, in the 2011 run. But my point is, as a coach... I don't think you're doing the correct thing when it comes to sitting down JaVel McGee. I think you did it. Actually try to fix it recently on this last game they won. Notice he left him for the entire third quarter and the fourth. Even we were watching, my dad and I were watching a game. And the announcers from the other team were actually saying how, damn, he's had McGee for the entire practically fourth quarter. And for majority of the third quarter, they were even surprised because... I, I like Christian Wood, but at the same time, the power dynamic, you really need bigger per people. Don't rely on these rebounds from Green. What is Green doing getting so much rebounds? Don't rely just on him. Don't rely on, on Luke and Kyrie to get the rebounds, too. They focus on scoring. So really, really, I think Jason Kidd has to work on that. It is what it is. I wish it was a better situation, but... Let's see if they could actually get into the plane. I don't think they're going to get into the plane at this point. It's going to be a tough one.